You may hear him. Down goes Frazier. Down goes Frazier. Guys, there's nothing like boxing, and there are no athletes like fighters. Stephen A. Smith, this story really, really makes me wonder about what your man Floyd Mayweather Jr. has been up to. Because we all know that Floyd Mayweather Jr. has been out front for the sport of boxing, trying to clean it up in the fight against steroids. And now I'm starting to wonder if all that was just an act, a lot of bluster, a, a lot of sleight of hand deflection of blame because maybe he was trying to deflect any scrutiny off himself, Floyd Mayweather Jr. And it seems extra hypocritical today because I remind you, as you well know, that Floyd and members of his camp publicly accused my man, Manny Pacquiao, of PED use. And my man, Manny, was so offended, he took them to court and he won. And I also remind you that my man Manny, the night of that fight in Las Vegas, May the 2nd, was denied the, the ability to take a pain-killing injection in his torn rotator cuff because he had not submitted the day before the proper paperwork. So meanwhile, that day before, right after the weigh-in in Las Vegas, what happened? according to this report by Thomas Hauser and SB Nation, Floyd Mayweather Jr. went straight home and took an IV that is against the rules unless you're granted an exemption. By the way, that exemption was not granted by the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency for 18 more days. They did it in hindsight. In retrospect, they said, oh, well, we, we're going to say it's okay 18 days after the fight. And it wasn't until 20 days after the fight that the U.S. anti-doping agency thought it might be a pretty good idea to inform the Nevada Athletic Commission <laughs> that Floyd got this exemption for therapeutic use, this IV. Let me tell you what this IV reportedly had. It had 750 milliliters of whatever solution it was, saline and vitamins, doesn't matter what it was, saline solution. 750 milliliters went into Floyd's body, according to this report. The World Anti-Doping Agency that Molly referred to, the one I hang my hat on, the Olympic Testing Agency, says that the cutoff is 50 milliliters. Floyd went to 750 milliliters when only 50 are allowed for <coughs> Olympic-style testing. Why, as Molly pointed out? Because if you put 750 milliliters in your body, which according to the, the average weight of an average male would be about 16% of your, your blood system, you can mask whatever's in there. You can cover it up going into a big fight against Manny Pacquiao. It doesn't prove anything, but it smells to high, highest heaven. And this, this whole idea of Floyd saying that he's been Olympic tested this story just shoots holes all through that because the U.S. anti-doping agency is just this independent arm that operates in this country that you can pay to come and test you for your event. So its integrity has been challenged here. Its credibility is being challenged here because Floyd will call upon the U.S. anti-doping agency to come and test him closer and closer to fights because he's gotten smarter and smarter. Floyd doesn't announce his fights until very close to fight time. Andre Berto, we know it's tomorrow night, September 12th. That Floyd, uh, that fight didn't get announced until September, I'm sorry, August the 4th. So in four or five weeks, that's all the testing that the U.S. Anti-Doping Agency is, is able to do. So what happened between the Manny fight and all the way up to August the 4th? 
Floyd could be doing anything. Olympic testing is 365 days a year, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. Floyd has never been subjected to that kind of testing. And let me also add, before I hand off to you, Stephen A. Smith, I know this writer, Thomas Hauser. Stephen he A. Flomo. He is of boxing writers. He is now 69 years of age. He wrote the definitive biography of Muhammad Ali that was published in 1991. You could say that he's favorable to Ali, and you could, you could read, I'm, I'm going to be objective here, you could read <laughs> into it that maybe he has an axe to grind against Floyd because Floyd has been so publicly hard on Muhammad Ali. I don't know that. I don't believe that. I just know that Thomas Hauser has been around a long time. He's plugged in in boxing circles. He shares some of his other previous reporting about Floyd's whatever. I, I'm not even going to go into that because I'm going to stay right on this story right here, right now. It raises all kinds of red flags about what happened before that fight. And again, it proves nothing except it just comes across as so outrageously hypocritical after the way that Floyd has treated Manny Pacquiao. Well, your position is incredibly predictable. Um, my facial expressions turned very serious once you brought up Thomas Hauser because I want to echo your sentiments. He's highly respected, and regardless of what some may feel about him or whatever, he's been connected to the sport of boxing for quite a long time, quite a long time. He's highly reputable. And it's not my place, your place, nor anyone else's place in this profession to question the work of this man. So I just want to make sure Thank that you. I throw that out there I'm before we you. say anything else. I totally agree with you there. Having said all of that, I took the liberty of calling uh, Leonard Ellaby, the business manager and the CEO for Mayweather Promotions. Uh, approximately 30 minutes ago, I got off the phone with them. They're going to issue a press release uh, within the hour, I believe. Uh, where they're categorically denying that there's any truth whatsoever to the reports. They're also going to remind the world that Floyd Money Mayweather has never, ever tested positive for, for, for drug use, banned substances, or anything of that ilk. They're categorically denying that there's any legitimacy whatsoever to this report. That's what they stand on. They stand on their history and their reputation of having a flawless record when it comes to PED use, intravenous, intravenous drugs, or that. Having said all of that, Skip, let, allow me to shock you with what I'm about to say. I didn't find anything wrong with what you said. It doesn't matter how I feel, because you know I believe that Floyd Mayweather is the best boxer pound for pound on the planet Earth right now. You know that I consider him a defensive genius. But there is no question that if there is any truth whatsoever to these reports, it smells. it smells, especially when you consider the fact that Floyd Money Mayweather has been adamant, particularly when it comes to Manny Pacquiao, about being tested, about bringing USADA into the equation, about proclaiming time and time and time again, if you want the best, take the test. Uh, I'm not sure I, I quoted him uh, accurately verbatim, but it was something along those lines. And so when you hear about any kind uh, of shady uh, behavior as it pertains to the allegations being levied against Floyd Money Mayweather, it definitely smells. It's definitely not a good look. And it, 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 it's incredibly appropriate that all of us get to the bottom of it. I will admit I find it a bit shady that this information comes out the week of his fight with Berto, his self-proclaimed last fight of his career, literally a little bit more than 48 hours before he fights Andre Berto. And regardless of what we think about Andre Berto in terms of him being a joke, he is 30 and three, although he's three and three over his last six fights. He does have about 23 knockouts on his career. He does have some speed and some power. And if he catches you, he could take you out of there. So we can't assume anything. When I look at all of these things, I do find it a tad bit odd that this report has come out now particularly considering the fact that this was probably known months ago. But that still doesn't absolve Mayweather from anything, if indeed it is true. They did acknowledge that he did take something because he was dehydrated, so he wanted to rehydrate himself. You pointed out how it's 750 milliliters, okay? 250 milliliters of the saline and the multivitamin, and then an additional 500 for the saline, along with vitamin C, okay? 
Now, when you talk about potential PED use, let's be clear about something here. And this is where you and I definitely will part ways. There have been accusations made about Floyd Money Mayweather in the past, although that there was no there was no proof presented. I believe somebody associated with Max Boxing threw something out there about Floyd Money Mayweather working in concert with Golden Boy Promotions and them having, you know, connections with USADA and, you know, brought that to the attention of the Nevada State Athletic Commission. I don't know how far that went, but clearly it didn't go far enough because we never heard anything really about it, okay? But let's be clear, Skip Bayless, the kind of PED use that those, that, that, that many suspected Manny Pacquiao of doing with Floyd Money Mayweather, you yourself have said on many occasions, he's a pillow puncher. He's got 26 knockouts. The last real knockout of his career to you was in the late 90s, even though I count Ricky Hatton as a knockout, etc. You know, you kept pointing out how He's devoid of power and what have you. Do not equate Floyd Money Mayweather with Manny Pacquiao. You know, Claudie and Oscar De La Hoya, even though Ricky Hatton's got a glass jaw, you know, what he did to Ricky Hatton, I'm talking about Pacquiao here, what he did to Miguel Cotto, what he did to Antonio Margarito, what he was doing to Sugar Shane Mosley, even though that ended up being a decision when he dropped him in the third round. Manny Pacquiao not only was delivering knockout punches, Manny Pacquiao was also taking punches from much bigger and conceivably stronger individuals at the time that these suspicions about him were raised. I don't see any of that with Floyd Money Mayweather. We see a guy that's the same size. We see a guy that's devoid of the knockout power. We see a guy that's prepared to go 12 rounds each fight, etc., etc. So although I am willing to say to you that this does need to be investigated, and it needs we need to get to the bottom of this. And if indeed any of this is true, Floyd Money Mayweather does come across as a flaming hypocrite if there is truth to this report. I would ag- ask you to keep in mind how they're categorically denying it, how Leonard Ellaby is scheduled to issue a press release, all right, for Mayweather Promotions. And last but not least, it doesn't compare to what we were seeing from Manny Pacquiao at the height of his stardom. When Ma- what Manny Pacquiao was doing to cats while moving up in weight was absolutely unequivocally extraordinary. And it raised a whole lot of suspicions. You didn't see anything from Floyd Mayweather to raise suspicions. I would like to point that out. Okay. Back to your points in order. The timing of this sure. report is timely. At least Floyd's in the news right now. Isn't this the end of his career, potentially? I'm not buying that. But that's what he says. He is going to fight tomorrow night. Okay, so so I don't have a problem with the timing of the report. I do have a small problem with what you're saying, and I agree with you about Pacquiao. He did seem to get a little stronger as he came up in weight, as he had to. He was just destroying dudes on the way up. I'm with you on that. But remember this, and you know this about PED use. There are two sides to it, increasing power, increasing recovery at advancing age. Floyd Mayweather Jr. is now 38 years of age. So I could see where at some point, nuts, I don't know this for a fact, but you could resort to it for recovery from some of the beatings that you have taken. Floyd has taken some punish. I know he's the greatest defensive boxer ever, but he's taken some shots before. You've talked about him on this show. But I'm saying there could be just recovery involved here. Well, Skip Bayless, he got hit by Sugar Shane Mosley in round rocked. two of their fight. Yeah, he got rocked by the at the end of the third round by Madonna in their fight. He did. What other beating has he taken? Okay, but I'm just saying these are I mean, shots he got, for he got, an he got aging hit. fighter to take. Well, 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 work with me. Work with me. He got hit by a blow in two fights. One by Sugar Shane Mosley, the other against Marcos Madonna. At no other time has he been beat up in his career. Manny Pacquiao, I believe it or not, I've never had a, a, a problem with the power that meant. I literally invite you to punch him. Like, bring it on. And literally, 
yeah. take punches. Okay. And I said, whoa. Now right. that got me, when you see the pythons on a guy like Clotty, when they fought at the at, at Jerry Jones' billion dollar yeah, play, I know, I know. And I saw this guy take a play. Well, you okay, know, I was going to say, Stephen two or two different things. Manny Pacquiao was yeah. born with natural punching power that Floyd never has had. I agree. I'm sorry, got, you could argue about it. That's why I said take that. Okay, now, I'm going to close this up by saying, you were uh, referred to the reports on Max Boxing back in the, the website back in 2012. Yeah. A lot of those came from the same Thomas Hauser. I, I just encourage okay. our viewers, if you have a couple of minutes, because it's going to take a couple of minutes, go read Thomas Hauser's report on SB Nation right now because he goes into detail about all of his past investigations into Floyd's. I'm, I'm going to leave it alone because I don't want to. I, I don't want to accuse Floyd yep. any more than the, what we did with this, this IV. Okay, but go read yep. it and and ju- you know then you can make your own conclusions because he did have one hard evidence that he reported even again today, before the Guerrero fight, the, the Mayweather Guerrero fight. Floyd did have a test that became public by USADA that was a red flag test. It's the the testosterone to epi testosterone levels. They were out of balance enough that, that trust me, the Olympic testers, WADA, the, the, the world anti-doping, they would have red flagged that one and said, wait a second, we got to retest here. So Thomas Hauser does have that. I'm, I'm just saying Floyd doesn't have a spotless record here. It doesn't look, I agree with that. It does not look spotless. He may have some, he may have some explaining to do, but I'm saying to you, he sort of de- de- deserves the benefit of the doubt from the perspective that in the ring, we've seen nothing different, whereas we saw something significantly different along the way with Manny Pack. That's all I'm saying. All right, we'll leave it there. We'll continue to react and track this story here for you on First Take. What's up, fight fans? I'm G. Cotto. Welcome to G. Cotto's Fight Page. Today, something, something happened. It basically shocked the boxing world. You know, it's been said that uh, they caught Floyd out there. Not speculation, but it's not just any regular speculation. Like, you know, those bullshit articles that we come across in boxing forums. Uh, you know, you know these, these, these so-called writers coming up with bullshit with no facts, right? So it's like, this came out. And it's crazy because, you know, Floyd Mayweather, the man who stands against drugs and and, and doping and, and PEDs within the sport, but yet has a stable, right, that gets caught, right? And then now this. But, but wait a minute. Of course, there's his counterpart. Because no matter what he says, because of the fact that I'm about to say, nobody takes away from Floyd Mayweather. Okay? Nobody takes away from Floyd Mayweather the way Floyd Mayweather takes away from himself. So with that being said, he's he's standing against it. This comes up. Then he's got a counterpart because he did it to himself. You know what I'm saying? It's like Batman and the Joker. Like the Joker ain't shit without Batman. Batman ain't shit without the Joker. Well, you got Manny Pacquiao. It's a lot of speculation. There was only speculation on Pacquiao's behalf. Pacquiao was never investigated. It's harder to do now. Okay? Um, the man had natural power. Okay? And it's just it's just the points that were made. Stephen A. Smith, man. Stephen A. Flomo. You know, I am... Um, I totally have to disagree with everything that you said. And if you notice how he's trying to turn it on Pacquiao, this is about Floyd. It's got nothing to do with Pacquiao. And I'm not a fucking Pactard. None of that. I'm just saying, look at the propaganda machine just trying to move it away from Floyd and saying, well, Pacquiao came up and he was knocking big motherfuckers out. He went through divisions. When he got hit, he should have been knocked the fuck out. But wait a minute. Ali's been hit with big shots. A lot of fighters have been hit. 
smaller fighters at that have been hit with big shots and waved them in. What's the problem? The competitiveness is not there. I've been calling this shit ever since, and I've been calling this shit. I said it months. I said it months. I said, watch this shit happen two to four months. Okay, something's going to come out of Floyd. And I fucking knew it. For those people that actually fuck with me, like actually, actually, actually converse with me, call me. Uh, we talk boxing. And even on the forums, we inbox and we talk about some private shit. Even though Big Brother is watching, I don't give a shit. This is some Luciferian shit. You guys don't understand, okay? Now, all you fucking flow moles are going to be like, oh, look at this motherfucker talking about it. But you guys don't understand. And that's why when this comes to fruition, you guys are panicked. Your assholes are pulsating. You guys are, oh, my God, fuck you. Oh, fuck you. And people that are actually opening their eyes are now biased. Packed hearts. And nobody's even talking about Manny Pacquiao here. This is about Floyd Mayweather. You see how it's really being fucking pushed? Manny was never proven, okay, to be on PEDs. Shane Mosley said it. Shane Mosley has come out and said a lot of crazy shit. Nobody believes fucking Shane Mosley. But now because he's standing up. Just wasn't it, wasn't it a week ago Shane Mosley was a fucking joke? See how these people make themselves try to become relevant. They try to become relevant in the fucking propaganda machine. I'm going to tell you guys this, man. Wake up from the Gatrix. Wake the fuck up. Okay? Hey, I'll be fucking Morpheus. The thi what if I told you? TMT stood for the medication team. What if I told you that Floyd Mayweather is not straight out of the but straight out of his clean piss. What if I told you Floyd Mayweather just may be a fraud. And has taken everybody for a fucking ride. Well, not everybody. Practically everybody. People that have bought pay-per-views. People that have actually gone and bought fucking tickets. Then I say this was WWE boxing. Then they try to move the propaganda machine right in the middle again with the catch weights. What the fuck is wrong with the catchweights? I'll tell you, I, I've been saying this for the longest, but you guys have been fucking paying attention to propaganda of fucking channels. But it is what it is. What's wrong with boxing is the competitiveness is not there. It's money over legacy now. And then you fucking guys want to come out here and try to diss the fucking greats? No, I'm not talking to the boxing guys. I'm talking to these fucking casuals. These fucking armrest casuals. These fucking fetuses to the sport. You know, you fucking guys are crazy. You know? But that's okay. It happens. It happens. You know, today I have posted a lot of crazy shit. You know? And it's not because I hate Floyd Mayweather. Because I used to like him. And I'm going to say this shit again. And I'm not saying this just to make it all right for saying this. It's just, I was a boxing fan that had just woke the fuck up. I just happened to wake the fuck up. You understand what I'm saying? I just happened to wake the fuck up. And now all of a sudden, I've got to deal with guys, grown fucking men, that have their feelings hurt because of what I said about Floyd. But wait a minute, I didn't create this. Floyd made what I created this. See, because if the shoe was on the other foot and had it been Pacquiao or any other boxer, oh, you guys would be up there with memes and all types of shit. So uh, who's biased now? 
This just may be the truth. Now, I'm not standing in line and saying, ah, it's the truth. I'm just posting shit saying, yeah, he got caught. Either. But I'm just saying, I strongly believe. I've been a strong believer of that. And there are many others that believe that Floyd Mayweather is a fucking cheater. He's a fraud. Okay, so with that being said, fight fans, understand my position. Understand everyone else who's making these videos position. That you just might have seen history. I mean, if this comes to fruition, Floyd will be the world's most famous. Sorry, but it's the truth. Floyd will be known as the world's famous boxer who scammed. And I'm not the only one saying this. See? So, with that being said, Roscoe is 4 5, episode 18. Getting ready to drop. Got something for y'all. And, uh, you know. To all of uh, Floyd's fans, the real fans, I'm sorry he did that to you, if this is true. But even if you're feeling this way and it's a big shocker because the source was a credible source, man, I'm sorry, guys. We tried to tell you. And you know what? I'm forgiving, man. You know? I believe it. So I, I, I got to let you guys know that. Uh, even Flo most too, man. I feel bad for you guys, man. You know, the beat, you mean. All of you stand behind me. Defend them. You even made enemies. <laughs> Threats, all that shit. Made your cheerleaders. Now look what happened. If this is true, you can source of credit. Chicago, 